Yogini sadhana is a very very powerful and intense sadhana. Yogini is a divine woman that is full of love and strength. Yogini sadhana gets Siddh easier. And these are very easy sadhana and they are bestow with very very high level of spirituality and powers. They can fulfill our dreams in the field of materialistic level also and in spiritual level also. With their sadhana, we can reach to the top level of spirituality. When we proceed these sadhanas, these 64 yoginis sadhana, we get lots of strength, siddhis and materialistic benefits. These yoginis are highly intellectual in sadhana and spirituality and they will guide us so that we also get success in the sadhana. These are very very powerful goddesses and they are basically uh, the you can say the sahachari of all 10 Mahavidyas. They are below 10 Mahavidyas but due to their uh, very powerful worshipping of these Mahavidyas they get very very powerful spiritual powers. So when we do the sadhana of these 64 yoginis we get highly highly intellectual spiritual intellectual and spiritual siddhis. So we should do this yogini sadhana specially to get ourselves risen in the field of sadhana and spirituality. And this sadhana is very powerful. In total there are 64 yoginis. Just we have to keep uh, one thing in mind that for the male sadhaks should always consider these yoginis as their mothers only. There is no other way. The best thing is that we should treat them as our mothers so, and pray them that please guide us in the field of spirituality and take us to the top level of spirituality by doing your sadhanas. And this is very very powerful sadhana. These are all 64 yoginis related with the 64 different tantra also. And these are very very powerful devis which can fulfill all our materialistic and all our spiritual wishes. So this is yogini sadhana procedure, how we have to do it. First we have to make the yantra, this is 64 boxes we have to make. Uh, if you count there are 8 boxes horizontally and 8 boxes vertically. This is to be made with the turmeric powder. You can also add some quantity of kumkum, vermilion or and uh, saffron powder also. But only turmeric is also works. So you have to make first this yantra. And this sadhana is to be done uh, at night time only after sunset. This is the most favorable time for doing this sadhana. And at, at night time first you have to um, offer the lamp for all 64 yoginis. First do the lamp, uh, make the lamp for the Lord Ganesha and bhog uh, sweets to them. For Bhairav also you have to place lamp for Guru also and for uh, Kul Devi, Kul Devta and whatever the deities you worship put the one one each uh, lamp and uh, sweets for each devta after that you just draw this yantra for six, 64 yoginis and place the supari that is betel nut you have to place so 64 <coughs> boxes means you have to place the 64 number supari over it and this is very very powerful effective sadhana. This is the complete 64 yogini sadhana to get the blessing of each. Like this we will place, we will offer some kumkum, rice. We have to do the panchopchar pujan of each yoginis and these uh, betel nuts will be considered as the yoginis only. So you have to offer the panchopchar pujan that is flowers, lamp and uh, dhup, some type of scent non-alcoholic scent and uh, sweets and some type of uh, you can say other offerings also you can offer like flowers different types of flowers you have can place for the each 64 yoginis the uh, mantras of each yoginis has been given in the description box you can uh, note from the description box that each of the mantras of yoginis and after that like first yogini is om aim hrim shrim Shreem Kali Nitya Siddh Mata Swaha Om Aim Hreem Shreem Shri Kapalini Nag Lakshmi Swaha This is second. So while doing the Panchopchar Pujan of first Yogini this mantra has to be chanted like Om Aim Hreem Shreem Shri Kali Nitya Siddh Mata Swaha and you can offer all these things and you can recite also these mantras. So with each 
boxes for each yoginis you have to recite this mantra and you have to complete the 64 mantras uh, yoginis mantras and puja after this to increase the potency and effectiveness of this sadhana however this is not mandatory but this is optional but this is will greatly enhance our success in the yogini sadhana that is that you can uh, do the homa also with this mantra you can do five offerings of for each yoginis or 11 offerings or nine offerings for each yoginis and so and to complete the homa so after when you do all the panchopchar pujan of all 64 yoginis you can perform the havan homa for each yoginis and that would be very very powerful this sadhana is surely going to success after doing this procedures so after that just place this all these yantras and other things in the pujan area also next day you can tie all these items and you can uh, place in the river for the complete success you can uh, chant do this sadhana once or twice in a year also to maintain the positivity and effectiveness of this sadhana but this is sure that after doing this sadhana you are going to be at a height of the spirituality you will get the maximum benefit from this all this yogini mantra the male sadhak should be con should consider all these yoginis as their mother only don't consider any other thing while doing the pujan always have some the motherly attitude toward this yogini and pray them that they can guide you in to reach to the heights of spirituality thank you